Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi Story. The last time we played, we finished another page. And today we are going to be finishing off the whole book once again. We reached the final page, uh, page 6. And something's wrong with my lips or something, because I don't feel like I can say words right again. Doesn't matter, let's go into story mode and finish up the final finale once again. So the last time we came in this page, we went through the Mecha Castle. And this time we are heading off to the Lift Castle, way up here. So from all the way down here, all the way up here. I wonder how the Yoshi's got up there anyways. Yeah, so without further ado, I'm just gonna go straight into it, since there's nothing else to really talk about. So yeah, for the Yoshi I'm gonna select, uh... Well, I don't know, really, there's really much... Uh, choose from that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with green because green's the normal Yoshi and red knows them and all that stuff. And I have no problems with going any colored Yoshi in here, so let's just go. Although it's probably better if I went to two special Yoshis. So yeah, immediately as we begin, we can see that there is a locked door here, which is a new thing that we haven't seen. First off, being the door being locked, and also the door itself, as we. To my concern, I haven't seen the door yet. I don't know, but there's a little block here that at least explains the locked door. As you can see, where's the key? Find the key, face the locked door, and push the control stick up. Basically, it says uh, when you get the key, uh, you can go through this door. And most we're gonna want to go by it because there's obviously gonna be secrets like melons and stuff in it, so we have to go and get those. But it also introduce the whole mechanic of doors, which we oddly have not really seen until this point. You just find a door, uh, you just press up, and you go through it. Doors are typically two ways and don't have a one-way thing, unless there's no ground below it, which you can't go through it. Some of these uh, doors are also only open, uh, only uh, accessible by doing certain actions. Like, for example, see how there's like, little ground here? There might be not no ground here, and you may have to do something to make that ground appear. Which is another thing we'll see in a sh level not too long afterwards. But next up, to the actual level. We got two ways that we can go. These little uh, saw blades to the left. And a black shy guy to the right. You do not want to go right as this way just leads to a place that you will come to later. Eventually going to the left. And that just ends a, a dead end. So basically why I say it's good to start with the special Yoshi's here is because of this shy guy. Because he will, uh, I think, heal you when you eat him. Maybe, maybe not, I don't remember. I'm just not that good at remembering. But if you eat him as any other color Yoshi, he will hurt you, so don't eat him. So that, I'm just gonna head off. And yeah, the saw blades. Uh, the saw blades we haven't seen in the other castle before, and then out in this castle. They basically just run off these things, sometimes off the ground. I think they're called Gers from... Like, they have the same name as the ones in Super Mario World, I believe. I'm just not good with names. So I'm just gonna go sneak right past them. And we come up to a really... Huh? Well, that's a pretty mean place to put a little secret. Wonder what it is. And of course, it's just coins, and I get hurt over a bunch of coins. So with that, we now reach this little saw blade. You cannot uh, get this. Uh, you cannot avoid this one without ducking. So it's recommended that you duck and walk like this. Do not sniff, as the sniff does not actually make you duck. So we're just gonna slowly walk under like that. You're just gonna keep his head up. Just to make sure we don't get hit. And as we can see, there's a shy guy right here, which is gonna get our way. So while it's up, we're gonna want to eat it and and yeah. There we go. If you had more health, you could probably change them, but it's a little risky. Anyways, we may pass that area. Should be nothing else. Okay, there's a little secret coins, but that's about it. Next up, we got this arrow we climb up with these little surprise balls and a lot of these things, uh, saw blades here, too. You're gonna wanna watch out on this point because I've hit myself many times against the saw blade going up there. So, with that, let's just keep going, follow the saw blades up. There's nothing for going completely around, I believe. At least I believe. I'll check that later. But then we come up to, uh, first off, we got melons riding these little things, too, where the saw blades are. So, you're, these things are gonna be somewhat helpful, somewhat b uh, bad. Just want to eat these now because it's going to be this little question mark bubble here contains uh, something that's going to make us want to dash. So there goes my yellow egg, I believe. Yet yeah, switch. 
So we're gonna hit this and run immediately because it opens up a path that leads up to melons, I believe. So with that, let's just go. A lot of coins. It's pretty mean how they put some of those coins with that saw blades. We have to duck to go through them. So we have to get going. Next up, we have these little bouncy balls. Which get in the way. Oh, this little switch extends the time of it. So you're gonna wanna hit that because there are these clouds up here. And lots of surprise balls. With that, we got everything around here. Thankfully. These should all disappear when time runs up. But next up, we can talk about these little bouncy balls. These little balls with the arrows on it will bounce you around when you jump on them. You also get another flare jump after jumping off them, so it's quite useful when doing that. So apart from that, there's not really much to really show. Stupid surprise balls. I think I missed them now, I'm not sure. But apart from that, we've got ourselves two things here. A pipe and a door. We are going to want to go through the door since the key is in here. As I said, press up on the control stick to go up. And we find this enemy once again from the uh, tall tower. As I didn't know what it was before. How we destroy it again is by chucking an egg. And like uh, some of these dunes were before, we are going to want to kill every enemy to make the thing appear. Here, as we can see, the key is now made. The key follows us like an egg. So we cannot carry any more eggs at this point, even if the thing produces the eggs. We will always lose an egg, and this thing will produce one extra egg, because the key counts as an egg, but it also doesn't. So apart from that, we can just leave and go off to the next area. Which, by the way, this next area I'm going to have to go through a lot. I really like this area a lot over here, so it doesn't really matter too much. So with that, let's go in the pipe. As you can see, we are now on an outside night sky version of the... Okay, it's somewhat rainy. But thankfully, there's a parasol right there, and miss warp number two. I wonder what number one is, I don't know if I see it. Oh yeah, it's right at the bottom of this area. So we can use that to immediately jump back up here. But yeah, we got this parasol. We run into it, and our flutter jump gets immediately replaced with the parasol item. What happens is when we flutter jump in midair, we uh, use the parasol and slowly float down. So using that, we're going to use to go and collect all the mounts. Also, while using the parasol, you cannot use your tongue, really. If you use your tongue, uh, this will happen. And you'll drop. So you want to want to find safe ground, unless there's something in midair you really want. So that, let's just get going. I'm going to go really slowly. I might speed up if I take too long. I might drop like that. Also, as you can see, there's a lot of balls here that we will bounce off of, probably. And there's a big heart, which I can't reach. Which means we're going to want to go through here without... Uh, freaking... Without this thing, because it's a lot easier to navigate, I find. So with that, grab that melon. And there's a super happy that I'm missing out on. I'm just going to say it's impossible to get at this point. That cloud's needed to get that. Melons, and we're back down here where number one is. So, you got the me this thing and you really don't like it. The good news to this thing, if you don't want to keep it, uh, all you have to do is jump over into that pipe, and you will lose it. Traveling a different area, it makes you lose it. So, nothing to worry about there. So apart from that, I'm going to do so close. Okay, whatever. Boom. And I'm going to go back up, and I'll see you when I get the melons. This time I'm going to avoid you, because I don't want to deal with you. And a lot better with the flutter jump. Because that way we can get this heart. And avoid these balls easier. And get that melon. Thankfully, they're all pretty obvious little secrets. Get all the melons and avoid all the fruit. Avoid all the little balls. And... Boing... 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 Ah, I think I got them all. I don't know. Question mark cloud! These things will blow you when they blow. You can't kill them, you can't do anything to them. And basically, they just to annoy you. If I didn't explain that before, there you go. So here we're gonna want to jump on this cloud, and we're safe from the bouncy ball. We can just eat the melons. I was so close to that last one. I will go get it. Got it. And with that, we can go into here as we got like ten of them, I believe. And as you can see. We are to the right of where we began, or the, yeah, the right of where we began. We got this little thing explaining what black shy guys do, 
Nope. Does not look yummy. It will not hurt your tummy. That little rhyme, and I'm gonna make him drop it. Get to kill him afterwards. And jump right over it, because it's easiest that way. Then we get him to do that. But apart from that, we have the key and the store, so we can now go in it. So let's open it up. That little noise is played, and the door is permanently unlocked. So we can go back and forth as we please. In fact, I'm gonna go back and get the. Uh, I'll just this guy. It's not like it's that. Actually, there's a little egg thing right here. Um, not what I wanted. Okay, I'll just wait for him to pick it up so I can run by. And we're gonna want to keep going through here. I believe there are melons here, if I remember. Or just coins. I don't know. No, ow. Oh well, let's just keep going. Dang it, Cloud. The clouds are kind of taking time. I believe this is a melon, so we're gonna go to stop that note. Yep, let's get that melon. Okay, so that actually was useful falling off the edge there because I realized I missed the melon in the area. You might have seen me miss it. I kind of figured I missed it from before. So there's obviously something right here. Goopy. Oh, it just went. So yeah, because I missed that melon, it missed the whole area. That little secret area before that we were in had a bunch of coins in it, actually. Yeah, it was shaped like a heart. Which you get for only opening the... Super for being super happy, Yoshi. Which is why I was so useful that I did that. So that was the melon. And we got another super happy right away. That's pretty useful. But yeah, because we got one more melon, the super happy should be here now. He's done super happy. Just gonna let him drop and he just <sighs> That's one thing I keep forgetting about this game. That these when they drop with pop balloons at times. And it's not useful. I think it's one super happy, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't seem to pop them right now, but I remember these popping them before. And it really annoys me. Only when I was super happy though. At least that's what I remember, just super happy. So let's try and not be super happy this time. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid you for now. And I'm gonna let you drop. See, it doesn't pop it now! Let's just avoid that while super happy, because it makes a ground pound. Very useful that you try and get this one like that. Because, uh... Hmm, I think I just want to screw myself up. I don't know. But I'm still gonna try anyways. What an idiot. As I was saying, this... <sighs> I forgot what I was saying. Because every time I have to get these uh, melons, I have to replay the entire area, so it was a little bit unforgiving this game. So I'm already like halfway, half an hour right now. This one's actually a little bit more forgiving. I just had, ow, bad timing. That's why I wanted to hit the shy guy, so I could just easily jump over and push over. Now I'm gonna try it again, and this time I shall make it, since I know the timing for certain. See? And with that, I can just open you. Grab pound! Get rid of these guys. Jump over here. Break that. Grab that with the tongue. Get rid of you guys again. And just use this to overall destroy- Oh yeah, just run through there. Shy guy breaks out of there because we're super happy. Just- and let me through! Super happy can't do anything about this. Okay, now it's normal. But I still made it through as normal. Yeah, that contains a shy guy up there, which is super happy. It'll break when they drop those. I'm not sure if there's anything else around here. No, there isn't. And we keep going, and I just remembered something. Uh, I believe it's a mini game that I could never complete, and I'm gonna have to read this level 50 million times to get. But thankfully, we've now made it to Miss Warp number 3. So with that, we keep going in search of more hearts, because we only found one giant heart. Which, by the way, we are actually hearing one right now, if you listen close enough. If these things didn't make enough noise. There's something here. You're actually sniffing faster than usual, as you can tell. It's right here. Just coins. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Thankfully, we've got a lot of cloud lifts here. Uh, which seem to go into the abyss. Well, this one does. Here, it says there's something upwards, I believe. It doesn't mean anything. But I can still hear the giant heart. I just don't know where it is right this very second. Oh, right there. I knew it was somewhere. 
Yikes! Why won't you flutter, Yoshi? Thankfully, we have this giant ball to save us. The giant balls can be useful times, or they can be dangerous. I suggest you try and land on the clouds. But from that, we got all the way over here! To a shy guy and the block. We can break, uh, kill the shy guy for points, and search for what's most likely hidden items on the corners here. Yeah, I was thinking maybe like at least one melon. Also, we need to return this ghost from the uh two one that we thought for. This time it's on a little machine though. As we can guess, it's going to be moving while we control it. So once we get on it, it'll be auto scrolling as such. So we can use it just to move around, collect our coins. Do not grab any food, of course. And we have to also use it to avoid these, which can be a little bit troublesome. But thankfully, we can still jump and stuff. So I'm just going to try and lean left as far as I can, eat every melon we can. And there's something up here, I just know it. For now, I'm just gonna head off and grab these melons, because they will disappear if you miss them. Uh, talk about a close call. There, there's a melon I missed. Ghost, can you go back? Oh, it's not gonna go back. So that I tell Floyd, jump back. Yes, there it is. There's another one right there! So using the power of advanced flutter jump technique... I'm gonna flutter all the way up there, so this is gonna take some time. Uh-oh, I've got no choice. Well, green block ahoy! Let's go! Let's hope I didn't make it disappear. No, it's still there, thankfully. So if you remember me doing that from the, uh, the Flutter Jump Challenge, yes, uh, I'm just stealing that technique again. No, Yoshi! So I'm going to be avoiding that technique to try and help me survive in this area, so it might take a bit. So I'll see you uh, when I get up on these gold blocks. I made it! That hurt my thumb a bit. Constantly... Yoshi, why? You're so cheerful after all that flare jumping, too. That is one death I avoided, and saved me a lot of time. Ooh, apart from that, let's just keep going. We find ourselves a green shot guy, and I'm just gonna murder it because I just wanna take a mortgage or something! <sighs> that took up a lot to do. But we got another door, so. Let's just go straight into it. I believe this is what I was talking about before, or saying something before. I believe it is. I believe it. Yep, it is. We can see here we've got ourselves a special delivery mini game. As you can predict, there are seven mounds we are going to get from this because of that. Why I don't like it is because of what's up ahead. There's a hill. A hill. Pucci. Indicates a melon. Oh yeah, we're also very close to the end, by the way. I'm assuming there's gonna be melons right here and here. But uh, Pucci's gone there. We got climb the hill, and we got this stupid wind thingy right here, which is the worst part, and we're done. As well as the, uh, number four, and the end. So with that, uh... I believe this... Yes, I thought! The last giant heart, so we don't have to worry about looking for that. And now that I know that... I think we missed something. I guess it doesn't matter, because I'm going to go back anyways. So that, let's just begin the special delivery, since all you got is that stupid wind thing in the way. Remember, as it's a hill, you want to be very, very careful. And look what they do to make things worse. One at a time. One at a time. So you're going to want to make sure that you catch them all. And I failed already. Well, that's just stupid. At least I got that flipped over, but I can win five at least. I win five for you guys. And then I'll just redo the level later. So all that flutter jumping was for nothing, and I hate myself for it now. And there, we got five melons. I'm not so happy, Yoshi, but it doesn't matter. Five more till we're happier. Uh, four more, so two more left to go. Here we got an N. Remember that as the message, the end. 
But from that, I'm gonna go back here and see if that melon location was correct. Yeah, that's no melon. So, I'm gonna go back and look for the melons now because I lost some of them. So yeah, with that, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello there, this is, uh... If you probably can tell right now, the quality of my voice has suddenly uh, increased greatly. That's because the uh, quality of the video, uh, the thing I was recording, I don't know why, but the mic was completely failing. So yeah, for now I'm just going to show me go through this once again. I'm going to fail at collecting one of them, and just pointing that out, but I do collect uh, six. I will not be collecting that last one since you pretty much know where it is, and six is about as difficult as four. I figured that, uh, yeah, my voice was so, like, ah, I think I, the voice quality just got so bad all of a sudden that, yeah, I don't, I couldn't even stand it like this anymore, so I'm just doing this, hopefully my voice quality comes back up, if it doesn't, you'll probably hear it bad again, and I'm going to be out buying a new mic, because all the mics I buy just break for some reason, and these are supposed to be expensive too. It's a good thing I keep the receipts, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just going for the melons first. It's gonna take me a while. I'm just gonna completely ignore Poochie. I'm just gonna get these. I took a lot longer than I thought. Wow. You don't really notice I'm playing. Oh well. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep pushing this and uh, pushing through this until we reach the goal, which I'm right there. I don't know why I couldn't just dash right there. But yeah, we get them all, and the giant heart we're gonna get right there. So. After eating the melons, five more till happier. Well, like four more till happier. I miss one, and we make the big heart. Get the end. And now I can show you off where the last two melons are. The last two melons are right over here, where I'm flutter jumping right now. As you can see, there will be a bubble. Not that one down. There, that one right there. Question mark. Hitting that will reveal a switch. Which when I hit it, yeah, it's right up there. It'll reveal a switch. When you hit it, two melons will appear. They'll disappear over time, so it's best just eat them right away. And that's it. Those are all the melons. Now you know where they all are. It's all good. I'm just gonna get this last melon here, which I forgot about. Once I get it. Then just eat a watermelon, because that is the lucky food, which I go to go check in a bit. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying right here, but... All I know is I'm thinking something, and I've already said everything I want to say, because... Yeah, there's the lucky fruit, favorite fruit, so I'd eat one of these just to even it out. And with that, we go f and fight the boss once I eat it. Which I will be playing clips from the earlier time because I felt like it. So yeah, we are now going to fight Bowser. What do we have here? Mario's little pet? I have pet too. Let's all play together. Play nice, you wimpy pet. I hate guests who throw bob bombs at my ceiling. Which I didn't know so well. Yeah, but this is the final boss, uh, Baby Bowser. What he does, he has two phases. Uh, he, for the first phase, he'll ride these ghosts back and forth. What you gotta do is, uh, when I'm ready, throw your eggs all the way up there to hit the spikes and make sure they fall on him, just like that, to deal damage. You can also check bob bombs here too if you run out of eggs, cause. Just like as Baby Bowser said. Or you could try and throw the egg so that the explosion it, of the egg itself hits the uh, Baby Bowser. As you notice there, the egg back is uh, destroyed. But apart from that, we have the super happy tree here. Eating these fruit does earn you points, so melons are worth 100. And yeah, you eat them all, you get lots of points. So that's why I'm gonna spam without eating here. Then I think, oh yeah, we gotta kill Baby Bowser too because he's attacking us. So yeah, you can get invincibility, pull heal, so he's not too tough. So yeah, otherwise just go up, hit the spikes, and hit uh, B Bowser. Otherwise you can use the explosion of the egg, as I show right there, to hurt him. With that, we go off to the final form of him. Here's my form. I'm the king, you dino guy. I'll smash you now, so say goodbye. And with that, it's his final form, where he jumps off and tries to ground pound us. Uh, you can just do the same way that Hurley did last time, it's just that there's no spikes this time, so you gotta hit him with the egg explosion or directly with a ball bomb. Here, I just get like three lucky hits, and that will be the end of him. And with that, we beat the game again. Uh, 
So yeah, I'm not wearing that part out because I actually skipped it. If you really want to see it, you go to the first one. Anyways, upon beating Baby Bowser, we see him get carried out of his own castle. Sad as you can be. <laughs> and with that, we go see our results. As you can see right there with the results, I got 31 melons. I think I'm pretty good. I got over 30 melons. That's what was, what was the point, right? Yeah? Yes? I, mean, I got over 30 melons, so that's even better than usual. Maybe even cheating. So that we added on to our total. And with our results, we are over our best. So it was a new record, too. And with that, we go off to watch... Oh, first I have to input my name. That's right. Once I go check out the input name, so yeah, we got ourselves a new record, good scores, not all the melons needed, and I go input the name. This time I thought, instead of like, the other name I used, I decided to go with Yoshi. So, with that, I just spell Yoshi. Y-O-H. Yeah, I don't know why I put the H. Y-O-S-H-I, there we go. And that's it. The story had barely started. To find happiness, the Yoshis need to hurry. Balloon monsters tried to slow them down, but the Yoshis kept moving. Now the Yoshis were a little closer to finding the super happy tree. As the page turned, an ocean of boiling hot lava bo bubbled out. If the Yoshis didn't cross, they would never find the super happy tree. Blarg and the lava were scary, the Yoshis barely fought their way through. The Yoshis saw a tall tower. Maybe they could see a happy ending from there. After a tough climb, the Yoshis fought in Vizzo, waiting for them at the top. With a closer look, they beat the invisible ghost and saw a castle far away. The jungle lake was swimming with hungry fish called blurps. The blips would swim and jump, but mostly they liked to eat and eat. The Yoshis didn't want to become fish bait, so they swam quickly swam away. The deep, wide ocean would not be an easy swim, but the Yoshis dove in. For the first time in their lives, the Yoshis swam to the ocean floor. Even though they're like only like not even a year old. After reaching the shore, the Yoshis found their story coming to a close. After a long journey, the Yoshis found the castle at the end of the book. And the author of the story was none other than Battle Baby Bowser. But without shedding a tear, the Yoshis chased Crybaby Bowser away. Now that the tree was safe and sound, the storybook was no longer bound. The Yoshi Yoshi's Island returned once more and became again the happiest shore. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Until the next time, when Baby Bowser causes terror again, but for now, it's a happy end. So yeah, that's it. That's my second time going through this, and yeah, next time on Let's Play Yoshi Story, we will play through this again on the third level. So yeah, with that, I leave you the credit. So yeah, thanks for so much for watching. I've been Yoshi Man 22 
If you like this video, make sure you like it, and if you like the series, make sure you subscribe, because I post videos every few days. So yeah, with that, good night, everyone.